I took all your advice and changed it to second look rather than first look with the number two at the end. <laughs> so, uh, yes, you join me back in ETS 2 yet again. Good evening to everyone. Hope everyone's had a good day. And, uh, yes, let's uh, get cracked on with uh, driving a man tonight. So we're going to go for the uh, extra, extra large Euro 6 version. And we're going to spec a new one just because it's easier to do. Be able to show you through some of the changes. There's not been much to be honest. Um, engine's pretty much the same. Nothing really changed here. Um, probably going to drive on the other side this time, just because of the fact is it's that looks a lot nicer on that side of the road when you're driving in Europe. Um, what paint job are we going to have? Hmm. Ugh. Don't really like that on the man. Uh, all these Christmas ones. I might just spec one in GC colours to be fair. Yeah, where is it? Oh. I think I'll just spec it in GC's colours. Yeah, no black at the bottom. Gold there. Right, there we go. Uh, evening, Gaze Driver. Hello, Homer, and hello, Gorgle, as well. Thought I'd get that in before I forget. I can barely hear you because my music is too loud having a wee rave on my own. Should be listening to my stream, Ben. Ew. Sure, they've made an update to some of these tyres. Might be wrong, mind you. Yeah, what should we go for? I'll go for Chrome. Go for the chrome look on the wheels, as normal. Yes, this is new. They've added this on, I think, or something in this sort of area. Um, something like along them lines, anyway. I do believe. A sidebar, some lights on. Doesn't spec both sides, which is annoying. Very annoying why it doesn't do that. Only specs one side. I think when you put a sidebar on, it should do both. But it doesn't. And if you're not careful, <laughs> you could drive off with one side done, the other side not done. I've done that before. Now then, do we have the big one or do we have the small one? I think I'll have that one. Add a few extra lumens. I don't like the Mark II version, I always like the Mark I for some reason. Why? I don't know. Spec it with UK flags, like I normally do. Be right back, Steve said Gorgle. Uh, ben, are we invited? I'm listening, but struggling to hear to hear it. Sure thing, Homer. <laughs> We're all invited round to Ben's house for a party. Sounds brilliant. Um Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I just broke the game by selecting a bull bar. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Let's try that again, shall we? Um... <laughs> oh, dear. We shall try that again. <laughs> uh... Hello, repicking V995. Welcome to the stream. We do speak English here. Uh, hello, Andy. Welcome to the stream. Ah, oh dear. Let's try that again, shall we? 
I have to do all that again as well now. Still, could be worse. Oh, Chucky overlay has gone over the top of the stream. There we go. Right. You know what? I might just spec the one I've got. Or respec it. Save some time. Since, uh... Clearly that was broken. For whatever reason. Hang on, is this the Euro 6 version or is this the standard one? No, this is the standard one, isn't it? Yeah. Or is it? I don't actually know. Yeah, that was the standard version, not the Euro 6. That's why then. Let's try that again. I'll have to spec a new one. Because it is the new one that's been redeveloped. Let's try it again. Hopefully it won't break this time. There does seem to be a delay, which uh, does concern me a little bit. Sounds like they've got a bug. I could have spec'd it up before the stream, to be fair, but I thought, well, I'll do it on stream, just to make it. So you can see some of the changes. Not been much, really. I don't want that. Let's go down flags again. No, do one painted. I think I'll leave that stock because I quite like that stock. Right, I'm going to leave that a minute. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Let's do a bumper bar. I think I'll do that version. What have I missed here? Uh, greetings to some of you, says Brett. That sounds a bit um, ominous. Who are you not greeting? Well, that's weird. You could... Oh, yeah, there is a bar there. Doesn't look like there is, but there actually is. Right, that... Which one was it that broke it? One of these did. I think I'm going to leave it off in case I break it again. Um, 2019 lights. They're the older style, aren't they? Although I'm not... Too sure. I'll stick with 2019. Yep, we're all good there. Side panels. Paint. Paint. Wheels. I'm going for Michelin's. Even though they're not as good as good years in terms of reliability. No, I'll stick with good years. Let's go with dark silver, actually. Uh, dark silver chrome. Front wheel. Right, all good there. Interior time. I've got to have a leather wheel. Just got to be done. Um, an air freshener. Ooh, a Hanover mug.
Yeah, that was good there. Good your pillow. Uh, is that the only one it gives us is the Michelin man. That's boring. Not the bear. I like the bear. Yep, that's spet. So there's not really been much change at all. Um, I am going to start this stream in Dortmund. Purposes of the fact that I didn't go there in the last one. So, garage manager. Dortmund. Travel to there and then I'll pick it, swap it over. Right, what have I missed here? I uh, can't wait for Lincoln Truck Show in two weeks. Whoop, whoop, party time. Ah, yes, the first one of the year. Which is uh, always nice. I do plan to go to the Northwest one again this year. Um, there we go. I think I might wear my cowboy hat around Lincoln Truck Show. I can't wait for my bed after my interesting unplanned adventure. Mm. Sounds like it went very disastrous. Right, for uh, purposes of this stream, I better move my camera over. So I'll do that now. Put it over this side. There we go. Right. Uh, hello, Aaron. Welcome back to the channel. I need to turn my music down or the neighbours will complain again. Well, you don't want that to happen. Man TGX, Sim Steve approved truck. I do like the Man TGX, to be fair. Okay, so let's pick up a job and we'll probably explore, um, I'm thinking to be honest, we'll probably just explore a bit more of this area of Germany. I'm not really sure what else has been worked, to be fair. I'm not really properly looked. I don't want to look at SES's website because it just takes it all away. So, in a way, it's nice to actually just go and explore. Um... Hanover, with a haul truck chassis, special transport, let's give it a go, why not? I do want to go to the uh, Scania Centre as well during this stream, I'll probably explore a bit more Switzerland, so not quite sure what order I'm going to do it in yet. ETS still needs to sort the UK out, well yeah, you're not wrong there, Aaron. Um, Steve, have you considered pedal cam like Scribble used to do? I have thought about it. Problem is, though, I don't really know how I'd go about it unless I got another webcam. Get off the bus at 46. New EMR was due off at 51, so I thought, oh, I'll do that to Parkway. Saw it as 174, so it was like, perfect. Train leaves in a guard day. Guard days, that should be says. Welcome aboard the 1951 to Nottingham. Yeah, nothing unusual about that. Calling at Manchester Oxford Road, Manchester Piccadilly, etc. I was like, <laughs> WTF lol. That's a bit weird. Was it late? In fact, it couldn't have been. Surely. Thankfully, this job should. Um allow some time to pass so we're driving in daylight I hope rather than night with it being a special transport job we will soon see I do like the uh, look of reworked Dortmund so far feels weird driving around these cities in Germany look completely different it's like a lot of getting used to Man might struggle with this, but it'd be good fun. Squirrel, ah, that brings back memories. Used to watch him play ETS many years ago. I don't think he plays it now, does he? I don't think he plays it at all. I don't really watch much of Squirrel now. No, it left on time, went by the usual places, just didn't stop, and got into Oxford at the same time it would have done with the box stops. So what on earth is the point? Strange. I don't know why it's missed Parkway and Witness out then. 
and uh, what have you. Very bizarre. Okay, good to go. Don't need to read that. I know what special transport's all about. Now, so it's fast forwarded about four hours. And you got the special transport uh, deck all over on Truckee, which is nice to see. Yes, it usually makes a daylight view, but not always. Right, where's this what's it car? I assume it's gonna be up here somewhere. <laughs> that was awkward. Not being damaged the load. Good then. I think I'm gonna have to take this over the grass. I don't. I wonder if they've um, adjusted some of the special transport jobs because there's, n there's no way I'm getting that round there. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> God the sake. Now at Warrington Central. So you'll be two hours late. Fun fact, the DAF XF tinted din in sound is due to the sensors being oversensitive. Air pressure, Susie's, etc. Not that there is a problem with DAF trucks. Force this to go. Come on. There we go. Yeah, this has cost me a good hour and a half or so, lol. Yeah. I... That trucks are actually very reliable, more though than Scandia from personal experience. Clip this and send it to SCS. Do you know what I might do to be fair? Because I'm convinced that um it's probably in relation to the old depot of some description. I don't even know why I'm stopping here. It's freaking stupid. I don't need to. <laughs> oh, that's just forced to have it. The only thing is daft trucks scream at you in a cold morning yet again due to the sensors. Hmm. Some fun getting this down here as well. I'd be alright when they get on the motorway, but. No, all good. It's been ages since I did a special transport job. I do like these. Terence never does these. Don't know why. I don't think he has it actually, thinking about it. Boring. Although I must admit, I do prefer these jobs in ATS. But ETS brings its own challenges, so why not? Vecos. <laughs> A pure expletive. They fall apart taking them down the road. Don't know too much about the S-Way, but looks good. Yeah, I think that one's probably going to be a lot more reliable. It would be nice for uh, CS to bring it in the game, but I assume they're going to have a, a licensing problem with Aveco. That's why it's probably not come in yet. Once I have a Hoff Green, my saver way becomes valid, so fortunately I've not had to pay for this unplanned excursion. Would be good too, given I paid £4.20 to do a four-minute journey each way before and not guard never bothered to check. I have it, but don't use it because I bin it and it pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, and as Terence says, he calls them toilet trucks. I'm not a big fan of the Aveco myself, but they do have a purpose. And they're all right as a good starting truck in the game. So. Wish TMP could add 
them for quiet areas only, and you would have to apply for escort from game mods. Yeah, it would be a good idea. I would like them to bring it in, but only in certain areas. But I don't think they ever will, because of the fact is, is that people are just stupid and can't drive. So... What? Speaking of can't drive... I <laughs> just crashed into that lamppost. <laughs> oh dear, and I've just damaged the load slightly. Oh well. That's karma for me saying people can't drive. Or from the event team. That means nothing Tamis doesn't drive them. No offence, the only people who can actually have an opinion on them is those who fix and drive them. Well, that's it. In real life. Not a kick off CD. Train fares are a disgrace now. Did you know it's £3 from Oxford Road to Deansgate? What? Shouldn't be any more than a quid. It's starting to uh, beep at you because you're in the other lane. Slightly wide here because the traffic lights. I definitely think they have done some work to the engine of the game. I don't know what it is, it just feels slightly better quality in terms of graphics. It's probably the TAA, as I say, but as was uh, been discussed on the blog post, but. Definitely looks noticeably better to me, anyway. Oh, hello, Terence is here. And his first comment is no bold driving people. There's a surprise. sort of engine, all the way to Scania. Driving a man. Or an MAN if you want to be uh, pedantic and politically correct, I guess. Back, I'd like ten slices of pizza. Ten slices of pizza, you fat get. <laughs> what pizza was it, Gorgle? I think I'll go and take a a look at the Scania Centre after this job. Probably take a job towards there somewhere. And then drive over to it. Wow, 100 messages in the chat already. Good going, guys. I think kick's still broken. Yep, it is. Ah, somebody has subscribed. A big thank you to whoever has subscribed. Put me back to 374. Big thank you. Yes, way is decent from what I've heard. Yeah, I believe it is as well, but I'm going to have a look to see if there's a mod for it. Because uh, if there is, I'll be tempted to give it a go. Add salmon burgers with chips, gorgle, cough, cough. Pepperoni and more stuff. I didn't read the pizza comment before, so I'm having to go through messages here. As for food, I've just got some pasta with bacon and cheese sauce. Mmm. Stralis and Highway is horrible to work on. Same for the Renault Premiums. They're also a bag of expletive. Mm. There's a mod for it. I've used it. 
Ah, I'll have a look then. I'll give it a go in the next stream on Pro Mods. Announcements on this 156 are off. They were on the Mersey Ralph and Wonskirk and the 170 as well. Probably broken. Hate it when cars come the other way. When you're doing one of these jobs. It's even worse if the truck comes the other way. Special job I see. Indeed. It'll take a little while this one. Because of the uh, speed limits we can do. Best truck ever made was a Scania 1645 ATV8. Mmm. Beast. They are hellfire them. There. How wide do you want it? As wide as it needs to be. Quite nice having no announcements on a 507 lol. Yeah. I do quite like the announcements on the 507, to be fair. Ah. Oh. Steve, tried a new lane departure warning. Oh, for the, um, if you go into the other lane. I assume that's what it is anyway. <laughs> it just slowed down. So I went into the other lane. Most durable engine Scania made those ones go forever. This is a bad route to transport one of these, indeed. Hello British Gamer Tech Guy, welcome back to the channel. get why the convoy vehicle moves over when the vehicle's coming towards you. It's like it's telling it to slow down, but I mean, yeah, yeah, pretty reasonable anyway, when you've got one of these coming towards them. It's annoying, to be honest, that lane warning. Yeah, I can imagine it probably is. Terence, maybe Sim Steve would approve of the jet engine bicycle. Um, I don't know, you'd have to ask Towns. It is realistic though. This is true. Now we're half green, so I'm back in Saverway land. Indeed. It's stupid that they um they're not valid um past half green. Even though you're still in Merseyside until like witness. It's freaking stupid why the save away is not valid in Halton. And the solo for that matter. It's about time it was all scratched up and freaking redone and done properly. Lane departure is very annoying. It stops the music in trucks when it goes off. Also it goes off when the white line has been moved. If you go over the old one. Yeah. Does anyone know Guy Martin? Yes, the uh, motorcyclist. And the guy who's been driven an F1 car and all that. Go on, Ben. What about him? Oh, he's already commented. Professional motorbike racer and the most knowledgeable HGV mechanic out there. He rambles on about so much. Yeah. Alton makes no sense. It's still officially Cheshire. Yeah, but it's part of Mersey tra Travel's remit. It's part of the LCR. So it should come under... Mersey Travel's rules in regards to tickets. I'd say it's stupid. It might as well not be a part of the Liverpool City region and Mersey Travel. If it, tickets aren't valid there. It's so stupid. Ah. 
And all the bus stops there are an absolute mess. And compared to the rest of Merseyside, where they're generally looked after a bit better. Should he be even those in Holton don't get the 60 to 65 OAP pass either? Yeah, I was going to say my tickets are valid there, but nothing else is. Save away. Solo. Yeah, you are going to stop. You should have waited, stupid Audi. And now because the Audi's there, I can't get. I bet I can't get through. Stupid, I'm gutted. Oh, that's so close. Stupid Audi. Bus stops in Halton were made like JOs years ago as people put. I uh, hope they kept breaking them, lol. Breathe in then. Yeah. Uh, hello, Alan. Welcome back to the channel. Where have I got trailer damage now? Probably off a signpost. Got a paparazzi on the side of the road. Google, this will help you. It's the London Marathon tomorrow. You could run it to work your... Run it to work your pizza. Or work off your pizza, I think it should be. Oh, yeah, I do know that, Google. But uh, I still didn't think I was going to make that turning. A steerable trailer, you'd have no chance in doing this job. You wouldn't get it around a bend. So. Can't really get any closer to the that lane unless I want to hit the barrier. Just like that. At South Parkway, we'll return once I'm home. Very well, Brett. Yeah, this is not an easy route for a special transport job at all. And seventy to go. Come on, man, you can get up the hill. Far he is in the Volvo. To the floor, Terence.
Which floor? Shut up, Terence. I do, I'm just ignoring your comments. Steve, next time you do convoy mode, we should test a special transport mode out to see if we can also escort, like, behind the escort vans. I don't know whether it actually works in convoy mode. I've not tried it. I imagine it should. Um, would it be an SCS's own version of multiplayer? There's no reason why it shouldn't do, but I don't know. Ah, Gorgul's back. Your mind is in the gutter again, lol. I was thinking through your bedroom floor and then through your living room floor, lol. Yeah, I don't think so. Ah, good police vehicle holding up the traffic. Is that Renault? Beast. Thinking an absolute eternity, this job. But I expected it would, to be honest. Mo has kicked me out of the beer tavern. We've got everyone beers, five each. You having doff beer again, Homer? No, I don't think he is, Terence. You don't hear anything from eternity these days. Come on, get up the hill. Take it long because it's a heavy job. Well, exactly. If it was all um, motorways, I probably would have been there already and on my next job, but... It is what it is. see him the odd time he's trying to get out more be more healthy etc I see Renault there. Oh, don't start that again. Tempted to ban that fall for a uh, line sentence. Steve, truth or dare? Oh, here we go. Um, let's go for a truth first. I never liked truth or dare. Apparently Google's wrote a comment. Yeah, it's blank. I can't see it. Now. Yes, I do remember yours, Google. Are you actually there yet? Uh, and any 
any other way to word that sentence as well should also be banned I know we're not there yet Slow down him, speeding. One thing I do want to do one of these days is try and haul one of these jobs in a Renault. That would be quite fun. Probably take you about a year to get to your destination, but it would probably be quite fun. That would take 69 years. Be good fun though. So this thing struggles, that's going to be even worse. Have I done that before? Not even an hour? Hmm, I'm surprised at that. Was it particularly hilly ground though, Gorgle, or was it flat? It's flat, it's not going to really make much difference. Italy and Portugal not exactly fully flat areas then flat had a bit uphill yeah we're not for next junction could be a bit interesting, judging by the layout of it. Not much. This shouldn't be too bad, actually, because you've got a hard shoulder lane. Steve should replace Lord Sugar. And when you see a report was accepted. Oh dear. Typical Terence comments.
east of LOT. Convoy vehicle when you're moving over. What are you doing? So the back one's moved over, but that one hasn't. So I assume he's going to stay there. So. It's a bit weird, that. Normally they do go further, but I guess it isn't going to. For whatever reason. So I'm going to have to try and get this round here. I think he was just going to stop in the middle of the road. <laughs> That's not very realistic. Yep, and I've damaged the escort vehicle. There's a surprise. <laughs> I'll have to load the checkpoint. I wonder if that was an actual glitch or whether that was actually broken. Thankfully, I won't have to go far. So. I am Terence. Would you expect anything else, lol? He's waiting for the other one. Yeah. No, that's not meant to happen at all. So, I thought, well, if I hit it, I know there'll be a checkpoint, so I weren't too bothered. I could have drove around it, but then it might have threw it off anyway. Sometimes if you move too far away from the both vehicles, it will also uh, cancel the job. So, let's see if it does it again. Yeah, I don't think the, um, the special transport should be affected by this. Okay, I think it's going to do it again. I'm going to... And then the other one's kept going. Okay. Um... Let's see what happens here. <laughs> that should not happen. How have I not got damage there? I got it past Terence. I could have gone the other way, to be fair, but then it would have been a bigger swing back. So... It's strange why they've finished there. Sake. Well, you're going to get pushed out of the way because you're bald. <laughs> There's a simple answer to that. Yeah, I think I did glitch through the railing slightly. Problem is now, because I've got no escort vehicles, technically I've got to stop. So... However, he can't clear the junction, so I'm going to have to go anyway. Hmm. No, they've both disappeared. One stayed on the highway, and then the other ones just drove off somewhere. Ain't really got much choice. If I want to finish it, I'm going to have to be aggressive. Now I'm going to have to stop. There's no way I'm getting that through there. Oh, it's there. So that one's ended up over there. 
What the heck? And now they're not even moving. Ugh. Yep, something's not right with this one. Problem is now you get the stupid thing where it doesn't allow you to move. I'm stuck on the barrier anyway. Goodness sake. This is not meant to happen at all. Yeah, I'll definitely be getting reported because there's a there's clearly a glitch with it. I'm still wondering whether it stems over from the 1.49 and the route being different. Having said that, it's still a glitch, so it's going to have to be fixed. It's their own DLC, so... Well, we got there in the end, even if it did take a while longer. But... Well, yeah. They obviously said you can find bugs, there's no question about it. But, um... Things like that should be polished, really, before it even gets to an experimental beta. Because a lot of people would do that thinking the job's knackered. Not realise that uh, you can still go. Anyway, what are we going to take from here? At least double check something before we do. Uh, where, are, where is it? I assume it's in Stockholm or near Stockholm. Yeah, it's a detergent, so I need to take a job up there somewhere. I bet there isn't one. I bet there isn't one. Oh, Uppsala. Well, that's pretty close, actually. So, yeah, that's probably going to be the one. Um, yep, yeah, that'll be the one, then. Take some carrots to Uppsala. I thought it was up there, but I needed to double check exactly where. Alright, let's go. After that, once I've had a tour of that, I'll probably make my way back down into Germany again. The other part of Switzerland and up into the Alps somewhere. Yeah, I'll reroute it. Sat here like a lemon. It's got some power behind this thing, to be fair. And it's got no trailer on it. to fit though. Aaron! On Blanc Tunnel. Uh, that sort of area, yes. And I'll probably take a job from um, Burn, probably. If I can't get one to there. Centre into trade ducks. It also is, looks very modern and so much better as well. I like much prefer these wider pickup yards. Just so much easier to navigate. going to 
be it there. Hmm, what trailers choices have we got? Ooh, let's take a tandem. My only complaint is in places like Duisburg there feels like a lack of companies. Well That's up there. Of course it is. I've just changed it, you mop it. It would have been that one anyway that's over there. Right, I will reroute the job before I go for a drive. Mm -hmm. I assume it's down here, or somewhere around here anyway. Set the mark of a Scania for now. Depending on how long the job takes, if I've got enough time, I'll go around there first. If I haven't, I'll drop it off and then go back. So. How much time have we got? Uh, 39 hours, plenty of time then. It's hidden. Yeah, I thought it was. That's why it made me think uh, it's that there, probably. It would make sense it to be hidden. It not being to be too easy. You can also drive on the course. Ah. Might be worth dropping the load off first then, if that's the case. I don't want to bin a freaking tandem over. That would not be good. Be funny, but. It'd make a good short as well, but I don't think I want to embarrass myself. Oh, look, a Fiat 500L. Heap. Well, yeah, they're easy to drive, but if you've got, um, oh, if you've got um, a track that you want to race around. I'd rather just have a truck. Got to get that short content. Well, well, yeah, I know, but it's supposed to be unexpected things that happen, not things that I can plan not to avoid or to avoid, should I say? To avoid and not to avoid, as the case may be. Um, track's not to race. Well, no, of course it ain't, but it's a test track, isn't it? So there's going to be some bits where you can probably put your foot down a little bit. Go down the CD road, you'll have 69 shorts. Well, yeah. I mean... Recently, when I've been down the CD road, not much has happened. So, uh, I've been quite lucky recently. Well, let's take this job all the way up to Sweden. 1,276 kilometres. Oof reasonable sized job and who goes with a man TGX in a Scania I mean it doesn't really matter does it the only reason why I picked the MAN is because it's had a rework slightly so it was of course I was going to do that I mean I could change into a Scania for it but it'd be like well is it worth it? Unless I do another job afterwards, which I probably will. I think I crashed into 69 times today. Wish I could say I'm surprised. Well, 
logically, you drive more on the CD road than I do. So logically, you're going to have more shorts as a result of that. Home at last. One good thing was my bus home turned up immediately. Ah, that's good. Rework. Yeah, it's had some body. It's had some parts of the body redone. That back end there is slightly different. Not much. <laughs> I don't suppose that car driver was very impressed with that. Oh well. It's problem. I suppose I'll stick to 110 since it's raining. as a twit anyway. Go 18, you will be safe. Go 110, less reaction time for braking. Well, yeah, obviously. But I just brake for the bends like I normally do. The Goodyear wheels are genuinely quite good for uh, wet weather anyway. So, not like the Michelins where you feel like you're skidding everywhere. So, that's why I like the Goodyear. Uh, car owners are twits anyway. Hmm. Possibly going to get in touch with East Midlands and find out what the point of going non-stop was when it got to Manchester at the same time as normal. Is it booked to go non-stop though? Or was it meant to stop? That's the question. Oh, I meant on CD. Ah, well yeah, of course. CD, yeah. Latest guy banned on the CD road. On my side of the road, that's not being avoided in any capacity, same with two-thirds of the CD stuff. Or you watch others get crashed into. Well, yeah. Most people who drive on the CD road just can't drive anyway. Well, not properly. You can probably guarantee at any one time there's probably about a hundred troublemakers on the CD road at least. Well, yeah, on the time of day, but typically speaking, there probably is. RTT has said it was going to stop at Witness and Warrington, but on the booking apps it was non-stop, so it was evidently booked to go non-stop. But what was the point it got to Manchester no faster? Well, that's the thing. I don't get that at all, why, it's, why that's happened. wasn't even mega busy there were seats available hmm makes no sense old thrash 158 sounds fun though well it does Two car and a three car is a, uh, three car is a pair of 170s. Mm. Not as good as a 158, but I wouldn't complain. They had a 170. Damn. 
Well, this is an unexpected detour. No way around it, though. Um, well, I don't know where this is going to take me. Another rework of Hamburg as well. I've not been here yet. So did you... At least you've taken me back the way I came. To then do a loop back. What is the point of that? I'm going to send you up to Kiel. And go that way. Yeah. Well, if you're not going, I'm going to go. Stupid AI. You just know it's not going to be open the other side. So what is the point? I'll well just go to Kiel. Hamburg's also had a rework. I'll have to explore Hamburg. Places to explore are adding up in this stream. CS software did an amazing job. Don't care if the cars are broken, should be fixed when it's fully released. Yeah, I think it will be fine. Most of it's probably going to be um, issues they're already aware of, to be honest. But it does come into that mindset where there's a lot of companies that bring games out, beta, full releases, and the buggy. It's like, you think, how? You know. How's it happen? Is it a cash grab? Which in a lot of AAA titles it is. Indie titles are a bit different. Because it's like, well, sometimes they bring it out to stay afloat. So. Yeah, it's ever increasing now. Games get released with bugs. Counted quite a few in these two streams so far. I was expecting, but some of them are, well, some of them are completely unexpected. Say so the AI car glitches, they've been around for since the game came out. So, sometimes a lot of that is to do with the fact that, I don't know, it's just bad coding, things like that, but... Is there any boats involved in this run? Uh, no, Brett. I like the new UI. New UI. Mm. Hello, Stately Zeus. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yes, this is a 1.50 experimental beta, which you can download on Steam in the beta tab. Hamburg was new in 1.48. Can't say I noticed, but having said that, I've not been to Hamburg for a while, so it's weird. I saw on so I did something right. Doesn't mean anything. I mean, the thing is, people can play it, not come across an issue, and then some people can play it, and come across loads. There's no, um, it's not really any set thing when you come across a beta version. What's going to happen and what isn't going to happen. I'm just glad they finally re uh, added TAA get rid of those squiggly lines yeah them squiggly lines are very annoying 
I'm surprised he haven't added it well before now. But, either way, I'm glad it's here. Looks far better. It's here, eh? Feels like you're actually driving an actual real truck and not something that's been modelled to look like a truck with lines everywhere. Um, didn't know I find it very impressive, 2012 game doing this good. I mean, it will get to a point eventually where SCS will come to a point with ETS2 where they won't be able to develop it any further. When that's going to be, I don't know. There's still quite a lot of Europe still to uh, build yet. Obviously, with the conflict in Ukraine, it is delaying matters somewhat. So it is giving the game a longer lifespan. That's assuming they ever create the heart of Russia and ever bring it out. I think it's been created, but it's not looking like that's going to come out until the conflict is over, if ever. So you might never get the heart of Russia. Who knows? Obviously, ATS, they've still got a long way to go with that yet. Obviously, it's American Truck Simulator, so it's not just limited to the US. So, they could still add, like, Canada and Mexico in, and South America, Central America. Possibly the Caribbean as well. Can't rule that out. Puerto Rico especially, because that's part of the US. I wouldn't say Bermuda will ever become a part of it, because that's part of the UK. So, probably won't happen. Wait, is that why they haven't released a heart of Russia yet? Because of the war? That is correct, Azareth. But yeah, they could explore down in South America, Venezuela and Peru and Chile, Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay, Uruguay, Bolivia. Venezuela and French Guiana there's been a noticeable player drop since 2019 a lot of those I used to play with are no longer play at all yeah well you'll find that happens over time with any game I mean obviously ETS2 has had such a long lifespan um, you're going to naturally find that anyway People are going to move on. Whether it's because they've got older, don't have time to play games anymore, they've got a family, or... You know, they... For whatever reason, they just don't do gaming anymore. One of them. But Brazil uses European trucks, lol. Well, this is the thing, they do. Um, but so do other countries where there's a crossover. Some use American, some use European. We do here. Look at all our recovery trucks in the UK are generally American trucks. So, it's one of them. It's like, well, I'm just saying that, you know, because they called it American Truck Simulator, it's not just the US. You know, it could be the whole North America continent and Central America or even South America. They could really do that if they really wanted. Um, it would expand the lifespan of the game massively. It would generate more interest as well over time as people get new maps or map content for countries. Imagine driving a truck through the Amazon. That would be fun. But yeah, Australia used both. So, they do. New Zealand, I think, do as well. It's probably one of the only countries in the world where... They do tend to use both more often than not for various different reasons. Um, Steve's showing off his Volkswagen. Uh, try that again, his geographical skills. Man, there is Volkswagen truck. Yeah, they do. They have Volkswagen trucks in Brazil. Which is very bizarre. It's just MAN, basically. Steam tour I want to see tomorrow is not super early. That shall do. I'll be doing a bit of Merseyrail filming and then going with my cousins mid-afternoon. 
not sure why it's telling me to go up here, but it is, so I'm gonna do it. I mean, it would have been better just to stay down there, but oh well. It's called American trucks, not USA, so they could argue it could be the entire Americas. Well, this is it. it takes a lot of work. Well, it would, but never say never. Same with like Australian Truck Simulator, like the old 18's Wheel of Steel franchise. Back in the 2000's, they could potentially release an, an Australian Truck Simulator. Include New Zealand in it. Potentially. I mean, there's plenty of life in all the games still. Particularly American Truck. just getting people to play it. Oceanic, they could call it. Well, yeah, they could call it Oceanic. Rather than Australian. Hi, Keel. It was nice knowing you. Should have gone over earlier, really. Ah, hello, Connor. Welcome back to the channel. Getting people to play is not easy. ATS servers being dead and very few convoys over there does say it all. Yeah, it's more popular on convoy mode, isn't it, ATS? It always will be. Because the Americans like that kind of environment. And they can just ride with people they know and you have to don't have to worry about um idiots coming along and crashing into them. Having said that, I don't understand why they don't do more convoys on ATS on TMP. Because it would boost the game's image. But I think another reason why is because not many people play it. They'll have a massive following in the US and Canada, but not so much in Europe and Asia. Uh, I've noticed TMP haven't done real lot on ATS for like a couple of years now. That's the same pre convoy mode as well. One, uh, one to 1.5k peak time was really poor. Yeah. Nebraska coming to ATS. Yeah, that's the next state. I'm pretty much back where I should have been about... Probably about five minutes ago, if not longer. So... Well, ETS2 has a following everywhere. Look how many Chinese play, for example. It's crazy. Yeah. generally speaking on the laws of physics there's what over a billion people that live in china so you think about it that's one in six of the uk well it's the uk so again that's a sixth of the world's population um so it's a fairly reasonable to expect there's quite a big chinese following it's quite a few indians that play it as well probably not as many as chinese mind you Nebraska the next day, so hopefully it's not in too much of a state when people play it. <sighs> Shut up, Brett.
don't care who plays it, if you enjoy the game, that's what matters. Well, exactly. I do take me hat off to SCS with the way they do have developed both games. I mean, they were doing reasonably okay for a small indie company when the 18 Wheels of Steel series was out in 2000s, but went downhill really when Bus Driver came out. Really don't know what they were thinking with that game. I mean, it was okay, but the fact is, is you could only do a bus route one way and you couldn't take it back. It was just weird. It got better when they brought the 1.5 update out. Um, you couldn't drive in the cab. You had to drive from the outside view. So if you were driving a double-decker, which was basically modelled as the right Gemini, um, you had to be very careful that you didn't crash into something because you couldn't see in front of you. So it was um, not fully anyway, so you had to be very careful. Well, since then, they picked themselves up and developed two reasonably good games. I could have said something about your hairline, but I've refrained from doing so, lol. Well, technically, you have, some that said, you have said something about my hairline. You've just mentioned it. Might ask Squirrel if you ever play ETS and ATS again. Feel free to do so, Homer. If you do get a response, let me know. If you want to get a good mixture of people playing, buying the DLCs, etc., which keeps the games worthwhile updating. Well, that's the thing. The fact they're still updating both says they must be quite happy with the sales they're still getting. Get a laugh with bad drivers. I don't even report them anymore. Someone crash into me. I just say no problem. I love TMP community, to be honest. Ha 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 You won't get towns doing that. Yes, but I could have said the actual comments about it. Well, well, you could have done. But you behaved. So, I'll let you off. Anyway. I said to Brett before, there's no ferry on this job. There is. I think. Oh, no, there isn't. It's taking me by Copenhagen. It could have took me via... Frederickshaven, to be fair, to Gothenburg. No, no, we'll go that way. So, no, no ferry. Literally, someone breathes and Terence reports them for reckless driving. <laughs> oh, dear. Good comment, Connor. Bad drivers lag. Things people want... People want to go on the CD road because there's a lot of people on there, which is fun. FO not. Need TMP to do more to keep the trolls, bad drivers off the game. It's a simulator at the end of the day. Those who don't like it should be banned and play something else. Another reason why players drop is because Terrence get the world banned before too long. CD road will have nothing on it due to Terrence. You. In the words of Kimi Riken, I will... I will kill him when I see him, and I will find him when I see him. Stupid AI car. Oh, I will hit him when I see him, is what I should have said. I like making my own version of that. I will kill him when I see him, as well. But yeah, it should be I'll hit him when I see him. Lag is not bannable, no. It's fair to remind people you agree to TMP rules when joining the server. I want to hit him when I see him for sure. That's it. I like making my own version of that. I 
I will shine him when I see him. Shut up, Connor. Unless you want a timeout. That idiot will crash into me. Moderators don't get paid. Uh, they do when they get they do it when they get free time, and it's not an easy job being a moderator on TMP, you well know. A swing on that, how did that not tip over? When you ban someone, you need video evidence of you banning him, so. No, I don't think I will. <sighs> well, bang your head and onto the nearest wall then. That will keep my sanity intact. an Aaron car? Uh, no, I don't think it is. I thought it was. Get off the white lines, him, Steve. Easiest job on TMP is probably the event team. Yeah, it probably is, to be fair. So you do have fun, don't they, the event team? What you have to do is lock off roads and... What's it? Trans transport around. Teleport, even. What comments in the chat? There needs to be more done in the background to stop people avoiding bans. This would go a long way to improving the driving quality on TMP. It's gone down the toilet since I started playing in 2019. Yeah, it has got worse, I'm not going to lie. But, I don't know. There's no easy answer for it. fall asleep doing CC. Can't think of anything worse. Oh, I missed Connor's comment from before. Just did it now. I think I've got brain diseases. Technically, you can't get a brain disease from banging your head. That's not possible. Not straight away, anyway. I do like this bridge. Not so much going uphill, but downhill. Ah, oh, yes. Seven hundred sixty-nine kilometers to go. I didn't actually do it. I knew that already. If you fall off a motorcycle, go at every speed. Most likely, yes. Hmm. Thirty-four euros paid. That's a disgrace. I don't get why that one's so expensive. Be right back, says Gorgle. No worries. Terence being a game mod, hmm, let's look at the pros and cons. Connie Steve logs on and gets banned for permanence by Terence of bold driving. Pro's reports would actually be done. <laughs> Next place of interest is Copenhagen.
to be some improvements before I would even consider applying five active bans equals a permanent ban. He's reinstating for a start. Don't think they'll ever reinstate that. And the only people that'll ever get permanent bans now are people who uh, cheat driving through barriers like I had that time. And uh, people who use probably excessive language constantly. Or expletive language. Yeah, hacking. It's probably the only two things. Which seems to be the case across most games that have an online presence. Hacking and language. Eternity has the most bans. How many has he had now? Does anybody know how many active bans he's got? Yes, but needs doing for those who don't play the game for the right reasons. Hello, Krazo. Welcome back to the channel. I don't know. I don't even know what his uh, trucker's MP name is. Only been banned twice and one of them was reported by Steve. Yeah, it was. I remember that. Idiotic driving, that was. And you deserve that ban as well. Oh, for God's sake, I've run in the freaking dead lane. I can always do that here for some reason. Ugh. Gave up on GTA 5 due to hacking, for example. Back in the day, he had like four. Oh, yeah. Four. I had six or seven at one point. Jeez. You didn't get a permanent ban. I'm surprised at that. And red crashing into you. Yes, this is true. That shirt looks smart. Hmm. I think it's one of my Matalan specials, this. I think. I think it's from there. Connor has been banned for sheep driving. She agreed to join a professional VTC. I don't even think Red's even in a VTC anymore. I just gave or drive it like an angel because I was getting bored. The next thing you know, I sent Steve on his side. Hmm. No mods will need a repurchase for the 1.5 release. Yeah, it will do. You got a three month ban, it expired, but was banned again within days. Matalan, who's Matt? Shut up, Brett. And if anyone says who's Alan, Alan's already here. So, or has been. Shuttle Cola. Sounds interesting. Here we go. Stephen, all right, Alan, lad. I start with Brett jokes, he'll call me a... Other then, yes. He will do. He'll probably request you to be deleted as mod again as well. Yeah, but who's Alan? I've seen his name pop up in the chat, but never met the guy, lol. Mods can't time out mods. The only person who can time out a mod is me. On this channel, anyway. LC 
Crossing Borg. Far to Stockholm now. Pretty much where Uppsala is. Give or take. Will you actually release the stream schedule next week, lol? Uh, hopefully, yes. I am a happy man. I drive the happy van. I've scaled the Matalan. Really, Connor? That makes me head hurt. Awful. Are we there yet? Are we nearly there yet? Oh, shut up, Homer. Speaking of pigeons, racing pigeons, if you sell them, they're actually expensive. Yeah, they are. Very expensive. Are you there yet? Are you there yet? Are you there yet? Are you there yet? Ugh. Are we nearly there, yes. Oh. But we must be there by now. <laughs> God's sake. Oh. Are we nearly there yet? Are we there yet? Oh, God's the sake. There's several of you doing it now. M4 words and any revised variation of that really gets on my nerves. It's like having children in the back seat of a car. You can see how far I've got left to go on the screen in two places. you want children um i'd love to have children to be honest yeah absolutely do a mo robinson stay no i'd rather not Oh, here we go. Azareth's joined now. Is the truck and Sim Steve there yet? Ooh, that was close. I bet that's... Um, are we there yet in uh, Tagalog that Terence has just put in the chat? We speak English in here, Terence. Come on, Steve, faster. Should stop now before Steve does anything to all of us. Come on, Steve, faster. It's going to be something along them lines in Tagalog, anyway. So. Ah, and Terence says I'm correct. Oh, for God's sake. Now oh, Brett's doing it again. I think I might lose my sanity by the end of this stream. <laughs> I might lose it before that. No, we're not there yet. in a container <laughs> did you have any sanity to begin with um 
Most of the time, yes. I have no idea what Homer's just wrote there. I don't have any idea what it could mean. I assume it's a, a different language to Tagalog. What language? I honestly don't know. I'm avoiding making any hair comments. I could have made a few bad ones, lol. Yeah, you behave, Brett. And now Gorgles wrote something in Chinese, Japanese, Korean... Whatever. English! Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, it's Maltese. It's a random one. I do like a good Malteser. I've had one for a while. Are we there yet? I've got a better thing, says Gorgle. Brett, behave. Have you been drinking? Which country do you understand apart from English? Um, Some French, some German, I mean... I'm not big up on languages. You'll never get there with all these slow AI vehicles. Yeah, uh, we'll get there eventually. Maltese is a fit. Aaron! There's normal behaviour and Brett behaviour. Brett behaviour is more fun. I do agree that Brett behaviour is more fun. Because you never know what kind of Brett you're going to get from one day to the next. Connor. Swearing in the chat, even in German's not allowed. I understand English, English and English. No doubt Google probably knows Portuguese, Dutch, probably Belgian, chances are, French, maybe Spanish, depending on Proceedings. Yeah, we we baguette. So that means yes, yes, baguette. So anyway, here's a good co topic of conversation for you. Why did he call them French fries when they're not French? And they're not American either, before anyone starts. Where are they actually from? I know, tons. Yeah, it makes sense for you though, because the fact that you live in mainland Europe, so... What does fit mean in Spanish? I haven't had that conversation yet about Google being removed as a mod. I don't know. French fries are Belgian, I think. Correct, they are. So why do you not call Belgian fries? Like you have a Belgian bun. And you know, that thing with icing on the top and a cherry. Fit. I do like a good Belgian bun. So yeah, they should be called Belgian fries, but they're not. And I never understand why. It just makes no sense. Because the French wanted to claim them for themselves. Yeah. Homer, English please. I don't really know how many times I have to say that.
Don't mind having a conversation about languages, and if somebody wants to know what a word is, that's fine. But it's making up random things. Not following the conversation in a different language makes no sense. I know two words from the Welsh language, that's it. And what are those two words, Connor? It's Cymraic one, as in the language, and Cymru the other. Sounds like the chat's just turned into a bit of a verbal assault match. A virtual verbal assault match, shall we say. I mean, yeah, something like that, Steak. Cymru and Cymru are the two words. That's bad, Connor. I know more than you, and I'm not Welsh. You want me to sell sheep in FS22, Connor? Was having an accent count as different language? Let's narrow it down, lol. Eh, uh, no. No, it doesn't. Accents are dialects, not languages. <laughs> it's pretty early, uh, pretty early, pretty easy to learn Welsh. Just go on a bus or train, lol. No more than two words, lol. But at least I'm the least Welsh person for Wales who was born in Wales. Ah, so you do know more then. That's good to know, considering you should have been learning Welsh in school. I don't even think I want to ask what that word means. Two hundred and four kilometers to go. This is actually quite funny as well. Um, when I attended college, I do hold a Welsh baccalaureate, which is quite funny. Probably the only one in this uh, YouTube channel that probably does. Only 17.8% of people in Wales can speak Welsh, that's bad, not going to lie. I see it's kicked off in the Middle East. Uh, what's happened now? With me being born in Wrexham, you'd expect me to have a Welsh accent, but no, oh guess. Uh, oh no, guess what accent I've got. Um. It's a bit of a hybrid accent, isn't it? Um, drones have been fired over there. Ugh. Don't like the sound of that.
Ooh, so a van have got involved, have they? Not surprised. Okay, well, it's night time, so what I'm going to do is take the job to the end, rest, and then I'm going to go to the track day so I can see it properly. So instead of doing that, uh, we will uh, take that off. Make some people sound English, not going to lie. Well, yeah, it's only just over the border. It's only really when you go up to likes of banger that way you get stronger all the air tangles see Keradigian South Wales most of South Wales Powys North Wales really up to past real Clan Dutno isn't really Welsh North Wales isn't really half of my angle seen probably Gwynedd oh here we go are we there yet? Are we there yet? Shut up, children. That's what I should be saying. <sighs> Banger. She must be worth it. Shut up, Terence. I sound a mix of Mank and Lancashire, except I can actually say every letter. Yeah. My accent's weird. Because a lot of people say I don't sound English. I sound either South American, eh, South American, South African or Australian. Yeah, it's done well, Gorgle. Very impressed. I had a feeling it would. Well, there is a reason for that. The reason why I do sound Australian is because there is... Um, my mum's side of the family originate from Jersey, so obviously they're not actually truly English, so to speak. So, and obviously as com that comes with that is they have obviously their own language and their own dialect. And a lot of people do sound Australian over there. So it's all to do with that. I think I picked up my voice from my mum's side of the family. However, it isn't strictly true. I can also sound like my father as well. Depends what I say. So. I'm one of these people that can change my voice. So. I don't tend to do it on the fly. If you ask me to do it, I can't. It just happens naturally. Ah, more rain. You woo. Sorry, Steve. Just had to. Instead of there. There yet. Oh, for God's sake. Don't let Ben see that. We'll never hear the end of it. I remember some strange person was obsessed with me because I sounded scouse according to them. I don't know who that is. Right, time home or out, that should be a timeable. Time out of both fence. Oh, you are with your mum all the time compared to your dad, so it makes sense. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know why Brett gets so tight up about that. I mean... And Goggles just put her. I miss something. A 
don't talk about tight to Terence, it'll turn him on. Well, I know a lot about tight. For the sake. Oh yeah, we know that, um, Brett. There's several things it's used for. I get said in a proper creepy way, lol. Well, yeah, of course it does. Did you try out the Scandi Demo Centre yet? Or no, I've just finished my pizza dinner. Uh, I've not tried it yet, Ace. That will be my next port of call. What pizza have you had? Ah, Ben's back. Guess who's back? Back again. Brett secretly loves that word. Actually, it's given me an idea. Well, oh no, I don't like the sound of this. Yeah, it's 11 already, wow. That two hours has soon gone by. Jeez. Still want to do a bit more of Switzerland yet. Might have to fast travel down there after doing the Scania place. I had a cheese pizza. Ah, Margarita. That was not a very good Italian impression. <laughs> it's past your bedside, Terence. Bed now, lol. Now Ben is here. Everyone spam the word, lol. Oh, no. Don't do that. Please don't. Um, Right. Let's find the nearest uh, point of call for the rest stop. Ah, only around the corner. That will do nicely then. <laughs> 1 a.m. was my bedtime until recently, lol. Night night, night night stream with Sim Steve. Could end up being that way. Do another hour or so. Ah, oh, typical. Typical. Just had to happen, didn't it? How do you press the command? I don't think I can do it on my keyboard, thinking about it, because I've only got a small keyboard. I don't have a full-sized keyboard. I'm sure I've tried to do it before and I can't do it. Anyway, it's irrelevant now because, well, I've already slept. So, now Ben's been had his uh, self timed out. Oh dear. Well, for a split second. Right, scan your place. Um. I'm going to assume it's down here, so I'm going to go there. So I've not looked where it is. I don't want to know until I get there, so... Explore. One thing I will do while I'm here is pick up some fuel. Still don't fully understand what it means. Wow, not full sized mind in the gutter. Shut up, Terence.
Yeah, it was about you spamming that got you. You want to pick up fuel, won't that be heavy? I think I'm starting to lose my insanity. Or sanity, should I say, rather than insanity. And I'm going insane. <sighs> I assume you can't untime people out. Uh, not with Nightbot, no. Well, not for like a split second time out, no. No, I'm going anyway. Start it or finish. Time out the fire pigeon. I need to go to Sunday church just to bleach my eyes with holy water after I found out what it you means. Discord. Don't you mean you're going sane? Well, no, it's insane, isn't it? If you're sane, there's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> Should be as clear as day, that one. All well, we timed out Connor, so I was going to untime him out if there was a way. Oh. Yeah, it can be done. If it's ma manual. Most of the time, Connor, yes. Uh, when it comes to streaming, sometimes I'm not. Let's give this man a thrash. Try not to bin it on the way, would not be a good look. Shut up, Terence. Saying wow. Had a feeling, says Connor. What feeling was that? You want a fashion man, that's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Want a fashion man, that sounds so wrong. Man up, Steve. Full speed. I don't know, I've had some dirty sods in my stream at times. that thing. Oh, golf. Old style. Oh, Connor's had a timeout now. I wonder what that was for. Having a fantastic time, lol. Nightbot is off on one, lol. Yeah, it looks that way. Didn't see what he got timed out for. All I saw is Nightbot say he'd been timed out. My boss doing the Terence. Ah, uh, it's going okay, Ben. Spamming the same thing over and over. Oh well. Serves to be timed out if that's the case. Nightbot could go and lick its ass. How could it lick its own ass, Connor? It hasn't got one. It's not a person or an animal. Let's 
Really? Shoot. No one gets timed out in my streamers, unlike in other places, it's not abused. Yeah, it's funny how he gets abused in here, though. I was going all right until I found myself going to Manchester unexpectedly, lol. Hmm. Anna, Steve. Oh well, never mind. Steve, you enjoying thrashing your man? Indeed. I'm going to assume it's up here, because why would that road be there? It weren't. It must be. I went to Bootle unplanned. That's not anywhere anyone wants to go. Hmm. It's not the best place in the world. Still has a bad reputation all these years later. About time you thrashed something. Shut up, Brett. Long overdue. Shut up, Terence. Terence loves Bootle. I was happily single, then Charmy decides to turn up. Now I never want to be single again. I've gone all soft at heart, lol. Well, I see a Scandia sign, so that's a good start. And Scandia demo sensor. So yes, I'm in the right place. It'd be quite funny if this gate doesn't open because I ain't got a scan you. That would be the ultimate troll if that happened. But it hasn't. It's so funny though if it didn't. lived in Bootle for about 16 months round and round and round and round and round and round and round about shut up red wasn't the worst experience I've had to be honest I didn't mind it that much when I'm older and get married I'm going to be a miserable git unless it's about Laurie's lol what do you love more uh, who do you love more Charmy or your Volvo FH because you seem to thrash the latter more <laughs> I assume you can go in here so I'm going to see if I can't so I'll have to figure out another way Yep, you can. Okay. Hmm. So we've got a, what appears to be some sort of visitor's hub. The vent hall. Hmm. Somebody sat on a tyre. Okay. That guy's probably thinking, what on earth's that MAN doing in here? Charmy, without a second thought, I'll return shortly. Snack time. Enjoy. Yep, this is very realistic to real life. Well, have you seen photographs of it, uh, Gorgle? Visitor's hub, so you know about a hub then. Shut up, Terence. The only hub Steve likes to browse, with an instructor, of course. Go 
this way. Yes, you can drive the Scandias with an instructor and show you how to drive it. Well, that'll make sense. Now, so there's no trucks up here. So it must be a dead end. Oh, well, I'm going to go up here anyway. Why not? I assume I can get it up here. Coming down will be far easier. Nope, they ain't getting that up there. Not much up there anyway, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, I think I might be stuck. Possibly. Yeah, I think I... I think I might be stuck. Let's see if I can... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Okay. If I had a Volvo or a Scandia, I'd probably get out of this. Oh, hang on. Let's see. Come on. See, so he ended up in a tree. So he's joined the Green Party. Come on. It is moving ever so slowly. See, he hasn't got the manpower there to get unstuck. Get a wheel onto the rock, I think I'll be alright. <laughs> Missed my comment from 69 years ago, I mean a few messages ago. Oh no. Drop the gear and disappear. No! Come on! It just hits another tree and then it bounces you back down again. really does not want to... You just slide it. Do you know what? Hang on. No, I've just stalled the thud, I didn't think. Oh, you know I'd like that to go down. Because it looks a bit... Now, guys, I think the... Uh... You no, know I think I'm going to have to F7. <laughs> God's sake. I'm going back. Where's this going to tow me to, I wonder? Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything, am I? You know what? I'll try a bit further over. So it looks a bit flatter there. I'd, I'd say go down, but I don't think I can. There's a road's there, but I don't think there's any way of getting down. It looks a bit flatter here, so I'm wondering whether... Tree line stopping you getting out over there. Let me, let me try it. Yeah, stuck against a tree. However, ah, that's so annoying. It's like a little bit of a ledge there. If I can get myself out of the tree, I might be able to reverse it down into the road. Yeah, zero cam does not help. <laughs> One bit.
That might not be a bad idea what I just did then. I might be able to... S no, I can't go down there. There's a fence there. No. Who put that fence there? Nope, I'm not getting out of this. I'm going to save the embarrassment and tow myself. All the way back to Stockholm. Right, note to self, do not go up that hill again. Just fix my truck while I'm here. Well, that was embarrassing. Funny though. That's probably the reason why it says, oh, don't send a truck up there. Now I know why. Because you won't get out. Don't take offence, Steve. Shut up, Terence. There's a sandwich and refused to talk to Sky News, so continued to eat his sandwich and drink his tea, ignoring Sky News. <laughs> yeah, he is quite a legend guy, Martin, to be honest. I mean, he knows his stuff, don't get me wrong. Track tarmac is a hidden road, not that gravel track. Yeah, well, I thought I'd use a gravel track first. No. SCS put that fence there just for you, Steve. <laughs> well, let's go back. Hopefully, we'll have a bit more of a pleasure driving around this time. It smells here. Who let one go? Probably you. Oh. Stop ignoring me. I wouldn't say I was, to be honest. I did obviously mention about Guy Martin. I'll go up there again, and then I'll go the other way. Oh, I've, I've took the wrong bloody junction, haven't I? What a tit. I don't... Oh, do you know what? There might be a way in this end as well. I'm not... don't know for definite. If there isn't, I'll just have to get back on the motorway. Chicken spag... And rice certainly caused an issue, lol. <laughs> Terence goes on a train, lets one out. Whole train evacuated. It's one way to get home quicker. Nobody saw that. Ah, yeah, he can get through this way by the looks of things. did one on a train before and it really rippled. Old driving. That was bold driving as well. Hit the kerb. And again. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> Dead end. You're a 
curb kind of geisty. What an awful joke. Awful, awful joke. Move your heap of junk. No, that's the problem, Terence. I wouldn't. I still find it strange you're bringing a man to this. Oh, he... It's not really anything stopping you. The gate opened. So, why not? Got the demo center here as well, and then just pa a car park. And then it's going to be that bit down there that's well, I say that bit down there. All right, let's follow the track again, see where it takes us. I know that uh, we've already been this way, but I should have gone the other way. So and then we'll go and explore up there. I want to see it all, so I don't have to come back. Might as well while I'm here. Can we please not get stuck this time? Try not to. See the park scan, you go through them and follow the track. Yes. I just don't get why this part's here. I mean, you've obviously got the track and then you've got this as well. So. Certainly interesting. Taste off road capabilities. Right, note to self. Well, yeah, off-roading purposes, as I just mentioned. It's certainly interesting it's here. It's said you wouldn't see many European trucks go off-road, really, for a long distance anyway. climb now. This is probably where I'm meant to go before. Here. So. Certainly an interesting vantage point anyway. Well, I'm going to turn around but I'm going to do it in a bit of a manner where I don't fall off the cliff again. Crumpets and cheese is a snack of choice. Mm. What? Um, actual cheese on top of your crumpets. I assume that's what you mean, and not separate. I do like a bit of cheese on crumpets, to be fair. Well, yeah, apart from livestock trailers. I was going to come on to that. But, uh, I was reading the chat. But again, yeah, anything that goes in a quarry also would use these kind of roads. What's wrong with crumpets? Crumpets are not minging. What is wrong with you? Yeah, cheese on crumpets. I like cheese, but not on nipples. Really? 
What is wrong with you, Terence? Ah, uh, Jesus. Ben's fired. No left turn, or I'm going to go that way anyway. American ones they go about 85 mhp. I assume that should be mph rather, 85 mile an hour. Well, that would make sense. Put me to minging. I've tried every spread on them and they're still minging, just dry and ew. Comfort, I can't, I cannot look right. This there is a joke in Nosley Greens about a what. There's a joke in Nosley's, Nosley Greens that a young people, which makes no sense, likes, so I think that should be a young person, likes old women, so crumpets are used to joke about OAP boobs. What have I just read? <laughs> what is wrong with some people? God, what a wrong what is wrong with some people? What have I just read? Hey! <laughs> Oops. Get away with that one. Terence has a sample for you to try, Steve. I'd rather not. I helped them deliver leaflets once and one was running around with crumpets on his boobs, so... Everyone buy vend crumpets if anyone meets him in person. Don't even know what to say. I'm lost for words. What Terence is just put in the chat. See, this is supposed to be 70, not 100 plus. Definitely an interesting little, t like, test track, anyway. No, Terence, I think I'd rather be sat uh, with lost words. Very impressed. Certainly a uh, very interesting place to be, anyway. everyone done today? Watch someone bin it multiple times. Stay. What have I done now? I went a few places and ended up in Manchester because of my train. Uh, my train was bizarrely non-stop and now I've just had some thick crumpets. Aaron! I think I'll get a photograph outside the demo centre. Beast. A buggy. Outdoors, media. Oh, random bicycle.
Yeah, definitely with a man makes it more interesting. They <laughs> really are, and not again, mate. What now, Brett? Oh. Are we there yet? Of course we're there. We've been to the Scandia place. It's a Lamborghini Hurricane Park there. Yeah, I spotted that myself coming in. Is that your bike, Steve? No. Steve, you should become a HTV driver. Ah, it's not going to happen, Ben. Right, I think we'll leave this uh, neck of the woods. And uh, for purposes of uh, streaming, I'm not going to drive down. So I'm going to fast travel to somewhere. Sure. And we'll go to a garage. Yeah, we'll go to... Yeah. We'll go to Geneva. To be honest, him Steve wouldn't get on well with other truckers. He would be saying things like, I like man trucks to some Irish tangs with dealer boots and V8 keys on the table. Oh, I don't mind an MAN, to be fair. I know what will happen. Steve will become an OAP in the future. Um, You would like to think that everybody in this chat would like to become an OAP in the future, wouldn't you think? certainly hope that anyway right I need to plot a route now and see where I'm going to drive uh, they've got an interesting route there I mind giving that a drive that'd be quite fun same with that one I think I might just do some random driving over some hills Isn't really anything around Zurich. I think I'll put a pinpoint on Zurich. See if I can take a job there and go via the hills. It's a bit of a random place. Just pinpoint round it. Go via there. Via there. Via there. That should. Yeah, that should do it. It's that road there as well, but it doesn't look very interesting, so give it a miss. Um, let's see if there's any jobs from around here. Do a coastal job. Why would I do a coastal job when I'm around Switzerland? Don't want to drive anything in real life. Yeah, uh, that's Mont Blanc, I think. I think it is, to be honest. Uh, let's see if there is anything. I bet there isn't. Probably won't be anything that close. There's a job to cheer in, typical. If there is anything to Zurich or Bern, well, Zurich preferably. No. Externals. <laughs> Literally nothing. Okay. I'll just drive it. Bit of fun. Monster. I wouldn't want to retire the way my mind works, as I like to be kept busy. That looks fun. Well, one of Geneva's and Mount Blanc. Or Mont Blanc, should I say. Yeah. This could be quite fun, this. Shame I couldn't take a job, but... Yeah, well. Just have a random drive. Hills, please don't fall down them this time. Mont Blanc is some view, been there before in the truck. Ah, but it's nice. Make a job through Trucky. That's a thought I could do, couldn't I? Never thought of that. Hmm. Could do, couldn't I? Eh, nah. I'll do it just without. If I could pull up anywhere and have a photo without a trailer, it'd be even better. He went further, he would not finish until near 1am. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a good plan. I think I'll wrap it up after I've uh, driven this. Get a trailer at least, lol. Oh. 
Oh. Are you the one to even get a trailer? Why? Um it's a garage. Behind me, typical. Ah, I'll get a trailer. Uh Oh, I've still got an old Phoenix on there. Yeah. Ah, yes. Green one. Um, I might just buy one, to be honest. Just as quick. I think I'll take a Container Master. Short or long? I think I'll have long. The axles. Shut up, Terence, or you freaking say anything. Keep it a standard, I think. Yeah. Tandem trailer? You've got to be kidding me. I'm not doing a tandem trailer. Surely not. Not doing a tandem. Look at that. I would like to take a photograph up the hill somewhere at Mont Blanc. Not die, shall we say. Toby Carvey breakfast is incredibly fit. Aaron! Oh, it'll be fun, but I don't think I want to go through that torture right now. eating a roast dinner for breakfast no thank you uh, Ben they do breakfast in there as well <laughs> goodness sake as if he's just said that oh my god Boring. <laughs> hey, I've got a trailer. I wasn't going to take a trailer. Ooh, very nice. That deserves a time out for being an idiot. I'd agree with you, uh, Brett, but it could be classed as a little bit of bullying, so... Perhaps not. Um, yeah. Right, I need to reroute it again now. So, this way, this way, there. Hang on, what have I done there? Endpoint. Uh, just say there. There we go. Right. Oof, I bet this is a uh, major headache in real life. It's 
I've got to say, I don't fancy turkey first thing in the morning. Yes, Ben, they do all the usual breakfast stuff like sausages, bacon, eggs, beans, etc. Yes. Did I have fresh tomato? I think they do, don't they? Best Saturday night for Steve is hanging out with all his mates on YouTube. Eh, it's not bad. I'm sure I avoid tomato, they're disgusting. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of tomatoes. I don't mind it in a spag bowl, but I wouldn't just go to the supermarket and buy a pack of tomatoes. Trying to work out what the heck the freaking sat nav's trying to do there. It's trying to root me around that and then come back on myself. I ain't doing that, so. All do you want a Toby breakfast tomorrow, lol? Eh, uh, no. Nice container trailer, Steve. I mean, it would either be having to travel to Chester or travel to Arrow Park. They're the two closest Toby Carvers. Pumped it up again. Really, Terence? Interesting. Flags. And a wheel. And a boat. Mm. Something is photographable. I assume it's the wheel. I'm going to give it a go if it is. I'm going to assume it is anyway. Uh, media. Normally, t it normally comes up and tells you what it is. I'm going to assume it's the wheel. Can't see it being the boat, surely. Normally comes up on the screen. I love these fake company names. Maybe I'm not close enough. Certainly an interesting sight, anyway. Big wheel. Oh, the farmhouse. Ugh. I mentioned in my last stream that I wouldn't be going the one across the road again. After what happened. A Discord. Oh, what's going on in there now? Hmm. I genuinely thought you got roast potatoes and gravy for breakfast. No, oh, thank you. Maybe if I was a northerner. I don't even think a northerner would have a freaking roast dinner for breakfast. Stupid car. Probably get weird things for breakfast in the Philippines. I know rice is popular at breakfast there, for example. Rice. I mean, it does make sense in that part of the world. Ben, an all-in-one. Get a blender and blend the roast dinner. No. What happened? Thinking car basically failed to give way to me. And as soon as you leave Geneva, you're back in France. That's how close it is to the border.
Yeah, I sat at a green light like an idiot. I suppose I deserve that. Let's have some fun. farmhouse in uh yeah last time i went over there uh my brother was visiting with his soon-to-be wife um basically um she had a piece of chicken that wasn't cooked so uh it all sort of like not going there again yeah it was all right when we went a few months ago so i don't know Oh, it's... I don't know. Hang on a minute. Oh, for God's sake. I don't want to go in the petrol station. I'm just pass it. get chicken at a breakfast it shouldn't be an issue well no Well above the speed limit there. Only 70 through here, I mean it makes sense. And this bit's 90. Is there anywhere else within suitable bus or train distance that would be suitable to go? Um. <sighs> I mean, the only other place that I could really think of nearby would be Witherspoons. But... So there's not really anywhere in town that does breakfast. Sit down. Um, don't think anywhere at the Oaks. Don't know if the one of them there does. Don't know. Ah, oh, Frankie and Benny's does. Just thought, yeah. F and B's do it. Mont Blanc in real life has a mandatory checkpoint for all trucks and buses. There's a staging area in case queues up at the top. But well, that makes sense. I can hear the helicopter. And I'm not talking about in real life. It sounds like it's in the game. there once but it was afternoon so never had their breakfast mm. 
It's the only place, I, two places I can think of. Which would both be walking distance. planning to venture out tomorrow anywhere. I don't tend to venture out on a Sunday normally unless I have no other option. Nice road. Terry Terence says helicopter helicopter. Church. Wonder what their breakfast's like. Um I've had Frankie and Benny's French toast, and that's not bad. Church. For God's sake. Still, you take Terence to church tomorrow. No. Good, ta. Definitely not doing that. And it's starting to rain again. 376 euros. A panic. Okay, let me go then. another midnight rave for a few minutes of struggling to hear you over the music. No worries, Ben. Jesus Christ, Steve, lol. Ah, oh, dear. Scouse people must own this toll. I mean, that one, the going over the bridge in Scandinavia is expensive enough, but jeez. Why do you like pissing the neighbours off, Ben? If I don't get a response, I'll ask you when you come back. Oh, yeah. It's good to make friends with your neighbours, to be honest. Yeah. Because I'm playing loud music. Oh yeah, I know that. Won't do you any favours. It's been at least nine months since I had working speakers. My cat is to blame. Got through the wire. Ben, I didn't hear that lol. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, she knocked them off the desk so hard the bit that connects into the PC got really bent. Wow. I am friends with one of my neighbours, not the others. They're uh, miserable gits. We don't have Mr. Pardon in stream tonight, no. Not been in. just gone off. That's annoying. Nope. Hurry up, Steve. We don't have all night. Another view of the Alps, don't... Well, I say the Alps. Mont Blanc and what have you, don't you? 
I mean, it's going to be dark as well, which is a bit annoying. I might pull over and sleep somewhere if I can. Anywhere on the map? Ah, perfect. That'll do. Rex, Steve. Reckless for holding phone. You should hear how loud I have my music on in my van wall. Thank God I've got good speakers, otherwise I would have blown them by now. Yeah, blow your eardrums out at the same time. I'm still here. Thanks for announcing you're still here, Gorgle. I just said to Charmy what I said to stay. Oh dear. Baldy, you missed my message. F&B breakfast sounds nice, but maybe a bit pricey. Ah, yes. Yeah, it is reasonably pricey. You missed her also. Shut up, Terence. Ugh, oh, God. I went in there. I don't think I need... Oh, I did. I did have to go in there. Did I miss the... I can... No, no. thought I missed the petrol station. I haven't. Dear God, that's in the morning, mate. Well, it is technically morning now. Nights like this in the dark upstairs on the bus would be well fun. But when going out to recovery is loud music is needed, it helps me concentrate after it makes me feel cool. As anything, windows down, beacons on, show off. Yeah, boy. <laughs> going in there sounds good. Shut up, Terence. Assume you've got to turn in somewhere. Ah, here. I would assume. Would you be right to assume that you're pulling there, or would you be right to assume that you shouldn't have done? I mean, there's no sign there saying you couldn't, so. Certainly an interesting resting point. Here, there, everywhere. It's still raining. Something I like doing is making cars move out of my way on the motorway so I can get to recovery. It's like everyone has to move because it's important. Aye. say no trucks no food on shelves or well, no truck mechanics there's no trucks well that's it tell your dad to sort out the rain to be a trucker you also need to learn a bit of mechanics ben mm. well yeah basic maintenance is important if you've got your own truck and can't look after it you're going to be in trouble another tunnel coming up Certainly going to be better to uh, have a view of this in the daytime, rather than at night. And how long this snow pass goes on for.
done a fantastic job with this. Really good job with this. Ooh, beast, an old Renault. open it would have stopped raining on the other side but sadly no stay church there Seeing stuff like this makes me want to get a smallish, medium sized motorhome and drive across Europe, lol. Railway line. Probably the OBB or the many different variations of Swiss train networks. Way not really depends how serious it is if the truck is passing uh, pissing diesel and risk levels are high I suppose we can yeah interesting petrol station I'm going to get bowled by this Renault for the next how many kilometres? Now, oh, it's a dual carriageway. I thought we fought down, I might get past him. He says. Hey. You could tow a caravan with a standard license now, I think. A motorhome, I think you can as well, because I think it's classed as a van. I think. That dual carriageway section lasted longer than I thought it was going to. Is that? I don't even know, but I'm trying to just get a photograph. Looks interesting. I know I'm going to get a photograph of this. Like some sort of, I don't know, it's not one of the things you've set to photograph though, so. But, looks interesting enough, whatever it is. Definitely need to learn to drive sooner than later. I thought you had no intention to driving, Brett. I want to, just because it makes life a lot easier, sometimes. Sounds like a train, that. I do and I don't. Ah, on the fence.
all our vehicles and wreckers are kitted with CB radios. The communication responded to recovery if it's serious. We need to know what treatment or what treat we are in for poor, pretty much. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I'll buy countless idiots on the road, but I want to go places like this. Weird looking bridge. I assume that's what it is anyway. Yeah, it was. goes to a tree at. Interesting. Some days it's a little boring when it's winching trucks who have got their tyres stuck in some mud and it's sometimes trucks that are on their side. Some days it's how it is. Meanwhile I have news. Jordan is planning to become a taxi driver. Oh no. Now we are coming out of silly season, we will start seeing trucks turnovers and in ditches for a few months. Oops. Yes, I'll be finishing up after uh, getting to uh, Jorik. Um, what happens if it's a European truck breakdown and the truck has to be towed? What happens to the driver? It can't be fixed there and then. This driver's nowhere to go. Taxi driver's not easy. Definitely not with Karens or criminals on board one of those. Yeah. Taxi driver is a it's a very responsible job, but costs a heck of a lot of money to be a taxi driver. When you first set out, you've got to get vehicle plated, licensed. You've got to have a vehicle in most areas, particularly in the UK now that's Euro six. Some of them have to some of them even have to be a, a certain year old or up to a certain year old, have up to a certain mileage on them. After so many years you have to get rid of it and things like that and get a new one. It's all just pie in the sky. It's stupid. That's why a lot of them have left it. A lot of them during um, COVID left the taxi industry because they couldn't afford to do it. Because obviously people weren't going anywhere. There wasn't enough demand so a lot of them jacked it in. And haven't returned. Not sure what it's like in Europe, but here yeah, it's stupidly expensive from a taxi driver if you're setting out. It's alright if you've got a car already, you know, that meets the requirements, but if you're going to buy one especially for it, it can get really expensive. Uh, transporting diesel, you need more responsibility. Well, yeah. Between the company's driver to range transport. I think I missed another one of Ben's comments further up, but... Too busy trying to focus on the road right now. This section looks really interesting. Of course we'll try and fix it roadside, but it's hard if the driver can't tell us what he's up at the time. There's a guy called Tom the Taxi Driver who makes videos in London. Why? Why would you want to make videos about your taxi? You need to check videos where tankers crash. I'd rather not. Are we there yet? No, shut up Terence. 
they start that all again. 300 to go. Won't be long before we're there. Camera viewpoints up here, I wonder what's here. Now everybody else has started it again. Goodness sake, Terence. Ben's doing it as well. No. We all like sheep. Now Brett's done you woo. What is wrong with everybody tonight? I mean, uh... And again. Ugh. Oh. Oh, this is that weird hotel that's in the middle of the Alps. I remember seeing a photograph of this not so long ago. Yeah, it's a restaurant as well, isn't it? Might as well have a look at it. Burka Pass. Nice waterfall. I assume that's supposed to be a texture of snow. It is Saturday after all, Steve. You know what people are like on Saturdays. Well, um, I would like to correct you, Brett. It is now 20 past 12 on a Sunday morning. Nice spot to drift a car. Nice graphics, then, indeed. Looks like a glacier there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it probably is. Oh, thinking that was going to be the end of it, it ain't. This will probably be the last one. Yep. Interesting. It's still Saturday in some places, yeah. Anywhere west of the... UK pretty much, well, an island. Oh, Portugal, of course. Why is the chat full of animes, lol? I don't know, Azra, if people are having... I think some people are having a day where they want to just... I don't know, spam the chat with random jargon. Is what I'm going to say. Oh, for goodness sake, it's happening again. No, 
in Ireland it's midnight. Well, yeah, it's the same time as we are. Same with Portugal. Anywhere west of Ireland and here is going to be still in Saturday. Landmass wise, anyway. Am I going to have to ban that three letter word? I don't understand you, Steve. Well, it's. Whatever time it is now, not 23. So 12.23 a.m. Obviously, we're in the UK here. Ireland shares the same time as does Portugal. I think the Faroe Islands share the same time as us as well. So anything west of that is going to be still in Saturday. Landmass-wise. That's what I'm saying. It's now Sunday here, but anywhere west of us, it's going to be still be in Saturday. Ooh, that was a big one. To slow that down. Right. This route is really good, to be honest. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying driving this. It's a bit more fun in the rain, though. Now Terence is doing it as well. I don't know what to say. Brett. Never knew you could pass the international date time on a plane or a ship. Uh, yeah, of course you can. I'm waiting on you. You're flying over one of these edges, Steve. It could still happen yet. Dateline, I should say. Yeah, of course it's possible. I mean... Do people think the uh, the Earth's flat and the international dateline is where it uh, starts and ends? <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh. oh, dear. How do you think they fly from Japan to the US? They don't go around the world. They go through the international dateline. Is. It's possible to take off on one day and land on the previous day, yeah. If you go from Japan to the US, it's pretty much 24 hours, or there or thereabouts. Depending where you go. And then vice versa the other way. It's good though, because if you live in Japan and want to go to the US, and you're going to, I don't know, have a meeting or something. You can still leave a day late, but potentially get there on time. <laughs> Stupid. It's just... Uh, I don't know if you have, like, a business meeting or something. Oh. I'm bold by them cars. You were was like a cult streamers make it their entire content mob. I think I'm glad I'm going to be taking a day off from streaming today when I've finished. Watch the uh, final 18 holes of the Masters. See who clinches the uh, green jacket. I think I might need it after this stream. Back 
back to a motorway. Simstead, what is you? Oh, Simstead loves you. Oh, Cult of 69, you. Oh, Gold of Azel's favourite. This coming. Ah, this coming week. A farm sim. Ugh. I've gone the wrong way. Ah. Oh. Goodness sake. That's adding to how many kilometres on? Oh, my life. Just made to pick the wrong lane. Ah, oh, great. Ah, put that mini there. Do a U-turn. Ah, yes, there's a point here to do a U-turn, actually. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Opening in the tunnel. So you will turn. I, I give up. I really give up. I, oh. What is everyone going on about that for? Oh, I don't know what's wrong with people. See if he's watching 69 holes of Yuwu edition. Ugh. Now, I think you're probably the only person that isn't Gorgle. Everybody else seems to be saying it. And I'm like, really? Why? It's people. Is anything right with them? Clearly not. Yet, Gorgon. Need to see if there's a Yuwu paint job for ETS. Tune into Channel 4 for more you woo. Super you woo. Oh, <laughs> Imagine if Andy was here. I don't think he'd be very happy. No, Ben.
Nice Jordan size trailer that. I do not, Ben. I don't know. I don't know who it was, Gorgle. I think it was Terence this time. Steve, technically Sundays when people have nothing planned like you down today, it's called you woo day. Happy birthday to you. Ooh. Bend it into the traffic light then. Sim Steve, what is you who on the bus? I can certainly say I do not. Yeah, I don't think it was Brett. I'm pretty sure it was Terence this time. Oh, Brett. I think I'm going to finish it here. Steve prefers tentacle, you will. I reckon Gorgon is laughing his head off. I honestly don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end it here now, guys. Thanks for everyone that's tuned in tonight. If you do want to see more content from me and you are new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit the bell. You'll be notified of when I go live in any future content uploads that is the videos live streams and shorts i'll have a read the last couple of comments before i end this stream for all eternity uh guru woo deal all right i give up i'm not even reading any more of them good night all